In today's world of ultra high competition, a single decision can make or break your company. No matter how many spot analysis you do, there is always a chance you can make a dumb mistake. From making a great school math error that cost NASA $125 million to not buying Google for less than a million dollar, here is a list of 10 dumbest business decisions that people made. Number 10. Edwin Drake fails to pay in his oil drill. Back in 1858, extracting large quantity of oil from oil reserve was seemingly impossible task. But Edwin Drake found a solution to it. Drake was later fired by his company and he lost all of his money on Wall Street. Just as many Americans took advantage of this opportunity to get rich quick. His failure to patent his invention resulted in the loss of millions. Though the state of Pennsylvania and all barons eventually paid him to express their gratitude. Number 9. William Orton passes on the telephone for $100,000. Back in 1876, William Orton was the president of Western Union, a communications giant with its telegraph monopoly. Sticking to his guns, company president William Orton turned down Gardiner Green Hubbard's offer to sell the patent to the telephone for a mere $100,000. According to Orton, the invention lacked commercial possibilities and resembled an electrical tie. In the end, he missed out and AT&T became America's telecommunications giant. Number 8. Ross Perot passes on Microsoft In 1979, Perot, the head of Dallas-based electronic data systems, negotiated to buy Microsoft when it was a young $2 million software company, and Bill Gates, its leader, was 23 years old. Ross found the price which was in the range of $50 million to be high. Instead, he passed on the opportunity and Microsoft would go on to change the modern world as we know it with modern computing. Today, Microsoft is valued roughly around $340 billion. Number 7. Kodak underestimated the first digital camera back in 1977. Kodak filed a patent for one of the first digital cameras back in 1977. However, Kodak made so much money on films, it didn't introduce the technology at the time to the public. Kodak continued its focus on traditional film cameras even when it was clear that the market was moving to digital. When it finally got into the digital market, Kodak was selling cameras at a loss and still couldn't make strong gains against other manufacturers who have been producing digitals for years. Number 6. MySpace refused to $5 million Facebook buyout. In the spring of 2005, MySpace CEO Chris Rebull visited Zuckerberg and his team to put out the feelers about possibly buying the Facebook. Zuckerberg, his president Sean Parker, and advisor Matt Collar met with DeWolf but only because they thought he was an interesting guy and they were curious about MySpace. When the two talked, Zuckerberg asked DeWolf if MySpace would buy Facebook for $75 million. DeWolf said no. When they met again later that year, Zuckerberg raised the price to $750 million and DeWolf again said no. Today Facebook is valued at $250 billion and MySpace is nowhere. Number 5. Excite could have bought Google for less than a million dollars. Imagine a world without Google. It's difficult to picture. But it was almost the case when Google was still just a young company, incubating in Silicon Valley. It turns out that Excite, which has since evolved into Ask.com, had the chance to purchase Google when it still was very small. And for a mere price of only $350,000. To put things in perspective, there are cars that cost more than that. Still, Excite barked at the opportunity, and the rest is history. Today, Google is worth around $530 billion. Number 4. Blockbuster turns down multiple offers to buy Netflix. Before Netflix, home video rentals were king, and Blockbuster video ruled on high. Apparently, not sensing the dramatic shift in coming years, when given the opportunity to purchase the budding Netflix in early 2000s, for $50 million, Blockbuster opted not to, and it ultimately led to the company's destruction. Netflix, on the other hand, has grown by leaps and bounds. Number 3. News Corp has a MySpace meltdown While MySpace was still on the rise in 2005, News Corp bought it, 
paying $580 million for the social media site. But the news carp managed it badly. The first few years were good and the value of MySpace was estimated at $12 billion in 2008. Three years later, MySpace declined dramatically. It failed to adapt and change with the times and people passed it by for other social networking experiences. In 2011, Newscarp sold MySpace for just $35 million according to some estimates. Number 2. Grade school math error cost NASA $125 million. In 1999, a Mars orbiter that Lockheed Martin designed for NASA was lost in space due to a simple error where the engineers and Lockheed used English measurements while the NASA team used metric ones. This mismatch led to formation on the $125 million craft malfunctioning and the probe being lost. Though it was unusual for Lockheed to use English measurements for a NASA design since NASA had stipulated using metric measurements for many years, there were still numerous occasions where the error should have been cut and wasn't. Number 1. Ron Wayne sold his 10% stake in Apple for $800. Ron Wayne was one of the three original founders of Apple in 1976, along with Steve Wozniak and Jobs. 42 at the time, Wayne provided much needed adult supervision in a company of young creatives. Wayne drew the first Apple logo, wrote the three men's original partnership agreement, and wrote the Apple's one manual. Wayne left Apple because he found Jobs difficult to work with. He described Jobs as stubborn, cold, and argumentative. He sold his 10% share for $800 in 1976, today that would be worth $34 billion. If he hadn't sold those stocks today, he could have been the top 5 richest persons on the earth. This was the list of 10 dumbest business decisions. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and see you in the next video.